I have seen other people use, I think it's called flint and steel. That you kind of kind of like a use it like a potato peeler kind of to ignite a spark to be able to start fires without matches. And I think the Boy Scouts use something like that. Um, I was also kind of daydreaming the other day thinking about how long your supply of fuel related items would last. And I seem to remember that the very old cigarette lighters that they used to sell, and I'm sure they still sell them, that you could, the kind you could, um, they had like a, they had like a cotton filling in them. I don't know if they were cotton, but you could soak them with lighter fluid and uh, had a wick and it had what I think was flint in it. And they were all replaceable. Everything was replaceable. You could buy the flint. I think it was flint, but it created the spark. It had a little wheel like, the new disposable ones have and you would flick it and a spark would hit the wick and the wick would soak up the lighter fluid and so you could make zillions and zillions of flames from I shouldn't say flames but you could light it you know hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of times with that one package of lighter fuel and I think they also I think they also sold the wicks. I think you could buy the flint. I think you could buy the wicks. Somebody help me out here and write a comment below because I'm trying to remember. I think you could buy the lighter fluid. You could buy the wicks and you could buy the flint, all three. So just for space savings, um, if everybody needed matches at the same time, there would not be enough matches. If there was an extended power outage that we ever had to go through for any length of time, uh, there would not be the supply that you need, and hopefully there will be enough Boy Scouts around with their flint and steel. Um, and hopefully there will be enough people around with the method I just mentioned in another video, which you have to watch that one because it has all the cautions listed before. Um, but it's just another way of space savings to be able to... You, you could share this up and down your street, and everybody on the block could use it or obviously if you've already got one flame going you can use a toothpick or a popsicle stick or whatever and you know ignite it to light everybody's candles so there's lots of ways to save what you do have but this is just another one to add to the list is something you might want to consider I'm just kind of throwing these ideas out um, to get your so that you have all your choices so you have all the choices at least I can think of I'm sure there's more I know you can use the batteries with uh, steel wool, but you can only store so much steel wool as well. So I don't know, I don't know what great advantage it is to have batteries with steel wool, but I'm sure somebody knows. <laughs> but feel, feel free, please, to add your comments below, and I thank you for everything you contribute. It makes a huge difference when I'm only one, I'm only one person. I may make videos about every little particular thing I can possibly think of, but I'm still only one person. And so when we get four, five, six, seven comments written below, it really helps everybody out. So I appreciate you sharing what you know because it helps us all. God bless you in your efforts to prepare. Bye.